Okay, so this is the actual washer. Um, I have it all set up. You know, my biggest concern with it, you know, I'd been considering buying it for a long time, but I was always scared because I wasn't sure about the noise because I live upstairs in an apartment and I do have a neighbor downstairs and we do not have washer hookups or anything obviously so you know all the reviews said that it was quiet but that didn't really tell me what I needed to know I didn't you know like quiet compared to what but I will say that the first thing I did I bought this rubber mat and it's basically just a really thick rubber doormat and you know I thought maybe that'll help soundproof it a little bit but I don't know I had it I've used it a few times and so far nobody has said anything um, basically when you get it you will get these attachments um, these will already be attached um, if you're going to use it in one spot only but I'm planning on moving it back and forth so it does come with four wheels so I have it on wheels um, it also comes with a wrench and then this is something I'll show you in a minute and your energy guide $23 a year if you use it you know regularly and then your instructions the instructions are pretty good they're kind of confusing though um, as far as the attachments to hook it up you will get this which um, the washer everything will be in it already you don't want to take the washer out it just came out there but you know most sinks will have an aerator um, but what you'll have to do is take the aerator off maybe it's really not hard to install it in its place all right and then it does have a quick connect that you'll hook to the hose itself um, you know and then it just fits right on it's really easy then so at that point it's installed and you don't have to do any kind of plumbing work or anything um, the one end of the hose tells you to hook to the sink and then the other tells you right there to hook into the washer um, as far as the drainage hose it will already be connected to the machine and you'll just put the other end either in the sink or you can use this you drape it over the, the edge of the sink but mine didn't fit it was too my sink is uh, too thick there so you can stick it in the drain and it'll work fine and I will say the first time I used it I thought it was broken because I didn't tighten this enough and it was the water was just pouring out <laughs> so I thought it was broken and um, it was actually coming out here and all the way like down inside and it was actually coming out everywhere so what I found out is it's actually pressurized so if you have it if you have any kind of leak it's probably because you didn't tighten the hose enough um, as far as the machine it's got a pretty big capacity um, a plastic door um, you know your cycles my floor is really noisy but you will have your power start um, and then this is the progress it tells you where you're at on the wash cycle and uh, rinse and everything and then uh, there's your three cycles that you can choose uh, and then your water levels now I would say for most people the quick wash is probably good enough because unless you have like really dirty clothes um, so far I've just used the quick wash and it's gotten everything really clean and it's the shortest uh, cycle it only takes from start to finish about 20 minutes or so um, 
So the other good thing too is that it uses a standard plug, so you don't have to uh, do anything for your electric. Um, another concern that I have that I'll probably find out in the future is if it works well with um, hard water. I'm hoping it doesn't have any kind of buildup inside, like um, hard water build up because my water has a lot of lime in it as you can see my sink it's my water's actually ruined my sink and that won't come off but you know I guess that's something that we'll have to figure out later um, as far as like the capacity I have just been starting with really small loads um, today I'm just going to do this um, you know you'll just first of all put everything in um, you want to make sure everything is, you know, loose and not bound up. And then, you know, that's a pretty decent sized load. That's probably about the most that I've put in so far. Um, you know, as far as like the weight of clothes and everything, I don't really have a way to know that. So, I, yeah, I think a lot of it's just kind of trial and error. So, let's see. The instruction book does tell you how to start, but it's very confusing because one page tells you something and then the other page tells you something totally different. So, basically the first thing you'll do is turn on your water. And you'll hear it rush through. Make sure there's no leaks. Um, you know, once you have this tightened, and by the way, you'll definitely need a wrench. You don't want to just rely on tightening it by hand because that was my mistake. Um, once that's hooked up, um, you know, you won't have to ever unhook this again. So make sure you're not leaking anywhere. And, uh,. At this point, you'll turn it on, and your lights will come on. Um, and you will choose your water level. I'm going to go with high, and then quick wash. Actually, let's do a quick wash, high water level, and quick wash for the cycle. Okay, these three, they'll stay on until you actually turn it on. Alright, well, I guess we can, you can leave it open while, it, while the water starts. The water, at this point, you'll hit start, and at this point, you'll see the water will start coming in. Okay, and another thing too that you'll just have to figure out on your own because I don't really know yet is how much detergent to use. Um, I'm not going to use a lot, but you know, you'll just have to figure it out as you go because you definitely don't want to use too much, but you don't want to use too little obviously. Um, alright, so as each cycle is going, it'll tell you, it'll blink, and I think these two will shut off once it finishes filling, so, shut your lid, and uh, once it's going, I'll come back and I'll show you the progress. Okay, it has finished filling, and as you can see, it's doing the wash cycle. Um, this will go on for a few minutes. And when it's done, as you can see, it's still flashing the wash, so... 
which means it's washing, and then the next one will be rinse, and that will start flashing. So, when it starts the rinse, I'll be back. Alright, it's been a few minutes, and it's just finishing the wash cycle, and in a second it's going to start the rinse. Usually at the end of the wash, it will do that um, quick pulsing. Alright, now, see now it's doing the rinse, and I don't know if you can see it in there, but what's happening is it's pumping all the water out. And once all the water is pumped out, it will start the spin cycle. The first spin, it will be kind of loud because it's, you know, it will get all of that water out that's in your clothes. Right, it's about to do the spin, which actually I was wrong. It's actually doing just the rinse, but um, so it's going to start spinning, and um, it's really not loud at all. If your clothes are not centered. You know you're gonna you you want to open it and get them centered because you can ruin it if it's off centered. Um, you can hear the water still pumping out. Um, all right, so at this point, uh, it's still gonna do it another time. All right, so next step is gonna be the rinse, and I will come back to that in just a second. At this point, it is filling back up with water to rinse, and I this is when you can put in your um, softener. Well, again, I don't know how much exactly to put in, but we'll figure that out after a while. Um, so it'll fill back up with cold or with clean water, and. It'll just uh, do a quick uh, rinse, and then it'll do another spin cycle, which will um, get your clothes pretty dry. So I'm going to skip the rinse process, because that's pretty self-explanatory, and then I will be back for the final spin cycle. Okay, the spin cycle is finished, and when it's done, it just turns off itself. Um, it also gives you a, like a beeping noise to let you know it's finished, but everything come out really clean everything smells really good um, you know as far as like the drying as far as the, you know the spin cycle it's very comparable to a full-size washer um, you know you want to hang everything up pretty quick to avoid wrinkles but overall you know I was able to wash a lot of clothes and the whole thing took about 20 minutes and uh, you know everything just goes down the sink um, it's tight enough obviously because there are no leaks and I really wanted to get video of the spin cycle to show you the noise level um, but the camera battery actually died so but really the noise, noise level I would compare it to, um, it's definitely, definitely quieter than a vacuum. I mean, you know, a vacuum is about the loudest appliance in your house, I would say. Um, I would say it's no louder than a, like a full-size, uh, microwave oven. So, I don't think you're going to have any problems with, um, neighbors, with the noise. Um, I would just recommend, maybe, if you're still kind of concerned about the noise, um, I think this rubber mat helps. I can't say for sure, but I think it does. I mean, I'm sure it would have to help a little bit. It's really thick rubber. And, you know, maybe only run it either, like, during the daytime or afternoon. Um, don't do it late at night or early in the morning. That way, 
you know, if it is kind of, um, if the neighbors can hear it, at least it won't keep them up, and they won't really have anything to complain about, so, but, yeah, overall, um, actually, first of all, let me just point this out when you're done, um, well, actually, hang on, you want to turn off your water first, and then, when you're done, you'll just, uh, kind of split, spray it a little bit, you'll just unhook that, and then you're done. Um, and then, you know, you can continue to use your uh, sink with that attachment, or you can put your um, aerator back on. It's up to you. But, yeah, overall, you know, I got this for um, about $200, and it's come down in price. There's actually a higher model now that is bigger capacity, but, you know, if you're, like, a really small family, or, like, just one person, you know, this is more than enough, and, you know, it works great, I, so far, I haven't had any problems with it, and I think, um, it's definitely worth it, so, yeah, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments, or in the message, and I'll try to answer the questions, so, until next time, thank you, and goodbye.